Hey look, it's a night vision from the video game. The PNV-10T is a Russian biocular night observation device made in the 2000s, maybe in the 90s, don't know. There isn't much info on this thing on the internet, at least not in English, so since I do have one, I felt like doing a detailed review on it, cause damn, I do have a lot of shit to get off my heart. We're gonna start the benefits because this is going to be fast. The housing seems solid, I don't feel like it's going to break if I look at it. <clears throat> It's actually Gen 2 Night Vision, I know. I was pretty skeptical of its performance when I bought it. But yeah, it has a microchannel plate since you can see the honeycomb pattern when looking at bright light sources, which I do not recommend doing in any way whatsoever if you don't want to get blems. The thing works. I've heard people on the internet saying that it has similar performance to the Photonis XD4 tubes meaning around 1200 FOM, which is your typical entry range for cheap Gen 2 night vision. But yeah, it's 950 bucks shipped, so the price is probably the biggest advantage, right? Well, I'm going to explain why you get what you pay for, sadly. Most of the problems are related to the housing, and not the tube. Although I can say that my tube has pretty bad signal-to-noise ratio, I don't really give a shit because I think it looks cool. There is a very big problem with the eye relief, uh, and the specifically the eye box on this unit. It is pretty difficult to explain it, but basically you can only see the full image while looking in zone 1. Because the eye relief is so small, you can't look in zone 3. Uh, you will just see a dark blob. The other big problem with the FOV is the fact that you can't see the full image through one of the pods. This is really apparent when looking at any of the footage I took through the unit, and changing the IPD only makes it worse. This can get really annoying. Another problem is the fact that it is a biocular system that comes with all its quirks. And nobody can explain this better than Oppophile, he made a really cool video on this. The link is probably in the description or the pinned comment. Now, let us talk about the mounting interface, shall we? It is a very specific mini rail, similar to the one on the notoriously better PN14K night vision device. It has some aftermarket adapters to dovetail, just like in Tarkov, but mine is stuck at customs. I have not seen yet any adapter to bayonet on any website, but I've heard they do exist. The school crusher sucks ass, like any school crusher would. But this one specifically sucked. It was incredibly out of spec when I got it, and I had to carve into the metal using a fucking knife, all because of bad Russian QC. I remember dropping the unit on its side, and at this point I thought I broke it because the image was fucked. I was able to see half of the tube, and the rest was just blurry darkness. Turns out, the lens assembly that splits the image into the two ocular lenses shifted. Somehow it was built on small rails with four tiny screws to keep it in place. I fixed it, but ultimately a ton of dust got into my housing, and I have to constantly open it to clean it so that I don't have a massive hair in the middle of the foster screen. But the biggest issue with this system is definitely the weight. At about 27 ounces, it is heavy, and if you don't have a good amount of counterweight, this can lead to some pretty bad neck pain. Trust me. You also have to take into consideration that the lenses on this unit are of pretty low quality. 
There are some pretty bad hooping effects when looking at bright light sources, which is pretty distracting by itself. In the end, would I recommend it? I would say that if you live in the US, uh, there are a lot of better options on the market. Just for maybe 300 bucks more, you can get a decent PVS7 Gen 3 Pinnacle. And if you save a little bit more, you can get something like a really decent PVS14. Devices that are just a lot superior to the PNV on every level, but if you live in Europe, this is probably the best you can get for the price point, I would say. In the end, this is actual light vision, which is still a cool thing to have because it simply lets you see in the dark. And in fact, a lot better than Gen 1 or uh, something like a Psyonix Aurora. So if you live in Europe, like me, and that you are on a budget, and you just want a cheap way to see in the dark, well, go for it. There's also a bit of stargazing for you. A lot of stars.